That's right. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of people who can kiss my grits, <laughs> um, this fucking Portland mayor who has the fucking gall to authorize 50 days of tear gassing his citizens and then being like, I can't believe I got hit with tear gas. Oh boy. Typical neoliberal scum. And appropriately hated by yeah. everyone on all sides. I'm not sides. playing the audio because it's just menacing music. Everyone hates this motherfucker because yeah. leftists don't like fake fucking left liberals coming out there and shitting shit up. And obviously, right wing fucking reactionaries aren't going to appreciate his milk toast ass. So, you know, he's just fucking, uh, you know, fence yeah. sitting and being equally derided by everyone. This isn't a climate where you can fucking play both sides. Pick a fucking side. And you pick the side of the people with the fucking tear gas already. Yeah. So, fuck off, Mayor Ted. Well, considering he's also the commissioner of the police, it's no real fucking surprise that, you know, he's more concerned about his thin blue line. Um, the, uh, this quote, though, this obviously we have a long way to go. Every Everyone here has a job to do, all of us. Yeah, yeah no shit, shit you think. These fuckwads say about shit like recycling and global warming, too. Oregon liberals. Worthless. Pla platitudes, platitudes and aesthetics. Nothing, nothing aesthetics of substance. And fucking like puritanical purification rituals, like recycling, which I do. Yeah, it stuff that it makes you well, feel good. Yeah, don't get me wrong, recycle, but it doesn't actually fucking mean anything. Plastics, though, too, is the thing. That's that's the thing that really gets it because, like, you got to do it right. Just yeah. Just throw in your. No, uh, yeah. Speaking of, um, you quick mention, speaking of. But yeah, we, we've yet to have definitive evidence one way or the other. What we do have evidence, though, is, uh, you know, Portland having a shitload of federal agents abducting citizens, uh, soon oh, coming to a metropolitan dangerous. area near you. Uh, everyone's just. Uh, 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 they're scary, stick armed college students that I call pussies all the time. Well, Lighting so, fires in the streets. There, there was black people. The, oh, they're rioting. The, the oh. DHS posted something recently that I saw somewhere. I can't remember of that. They actually released like the reasoning of them arresting people, and basically the entire like a good part of the portion of the list was basically they said like um, like violent graffiti artists, like violent like protesters graffiti, and all it said was they were. They were, yeah, yeah. Violent no, that's graffiti. What, that's what I was, yeah, I was that's like violence uh, against property. Property has rights, not people. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna name yeah. a punk band Violent Graffiti. That's a that's a quality name right there. Don't you understand that it almost God cost damn. hundreds? Do you understand hundreds of dollars to get that that paint? Uh, uh, power washed off in an hour. Oh my That's god! Property. Yeah, property. tell me about it. All that loss, all that lost I, profit. Way, I just, uh, here's my question, though. See, here's the thing: reactionaries all over the social media landscape today have been defending this shit, saying, "Oh, it's just a rust." They needed to. That city's had 52 days of violence and fires and and blah blah blah. And here's the problem. If that's true, then where are all the fucking charges? Why did most of the people they fucking black bag kidnapped off the street wind up getting let go with nothing more than, conveniently enough, a fingerprinting and taking of identification? Because it's a, it's a catch and release. Nothing more, nothing less. This is all... These are all drills that they're running... Getting getting ready for the real the real places. Portland is like ninety nine percent white. It's oh, so fucking safe for them to do this yeah, kind of shit to, there first. Chicago and they get New all the, York and where where you know it's where they're really gonna actually probably meet the most resistance. 
Oh, yeah, because, you know, regardless of what your ethnicity is, those places are a lot fucking tougher. And, uh, yeah, Portland's pretty fucking, you know, milk toast as their mayor proves. So there's not a whole lot of, of potential resistance there, even though 